Hey everyone, back again, and this time we are on to the Albert Bartlett, um, a race that down the years has produced some very uh, big priced winners. Um, I was having a look down the stats today, and I think out of your last um, seven or eight years, you've had a couple of 33 to 1 shots, a 50 to 1 shot, a 16 to 1 winner, a 14 to 1 winner. Uh, there was only last year uh, where Monkfish was joint third favourite that we've had one anywhere near the top of the betting that's won this over most recent years. So um, if you can find one at a bit of a price here, um, you, you could be you could be looking fairly good. Um, I'm going to start us off with this one again. Having a look through it, I didn't really had a look at this race till today, to be honest. Not um, not much had stood out to me to to jump into the race and have a look. Um, Without going down the full list, I ended up boiling down to two. Um, the one that I like the best, I think, is Cape Gentleman. Uh, 25 to 1, currently best priced. Um, uh, Emmett Mullins, five-year-old. Winner on the flat, winner on a few flat races up to two mile, which proves uh, he's a bit of a stayer, so that, that was good to see. Uh, changed hands, I think he was purchased for about 80,000 middle of last year and went over to Emmett Mullins. Um, ran him over a one mile six flat. I think he was second or third in that. Stepped him up to two mile and he won, and then he sent him over his hurdles debut, and he won at uh, two and a half mile. I think he is, uh, he, he's, he's the right type of alt, what I would class as an Albert Bartlett horse. I think he'll get the three mile really well. Um, I'd like to see him again. Obviously, a few of these, um, you know, I've only run once or twice. Um, the other one I liked was Farouk Delane, um, but I ended up, Settling on Cape Gentleman. So my, my bet on this, my free 20 quid bit, would be on Cape Gentleman. Um, Andrew, come over to you next, mate. Have you had a bet in this yet or no? Uh, uh, yeah, no, I did have a bet in it. I backed Statler at uh, 20 to 1. And I've now been completely put off it by all your stats about favourites now because he is the favourite uh, <laughs> at 12 to 1. But I think he's... Uh, I think he's just favourite because there's so much in the market that isn't going to run in the race. Uh, it's quite yeah. a hard one to sift through and, and actually find runners, let alone potential winners. I think he will run. I think he's got a decent chance. Uh, one I would, though, throw in the mix. Um, I'm going to split my 20 quid. So I'm going to put a uh, fiver each way on Statler and a fiver each way on a 50 to 1 shot who mightn't run. Uh, but it's a Kim Bailey horse called Bob Hope or No Hope, uh, who I've actually talked about quite a few times this year. I quite like him. He just looks like a real, real door stare. Has some decent form uh, at Exeter when he beat Ask a Honey Bee and at Doncaster when he won in a race that Flash Collange was in, who's won twice since as well. So I think he's got some decent form, step up to three miles. If he was to run in the race, uh, he wouldn't be 50-1. to 1. So I'd take a, a little stab on him as well. But uh, Statler would be my main one for the race. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, yeah, I say it's not the race to be putting people off. Uh, 40, 50 to 1 shots, mate. So um, that's fair enough. Mark, yourself, mate? I don't think Statler's too bad a price at 10, 12 to 1. I thought he might have been shorter than that after his win. I thought it was quite a good win, and he just stayed forever. He looked like he was going to get picked up, and he just found more and more and more. But the horse I'm really interested in this race probably could do a former hurdle is the Fakira of Gordon Elliott. He's won a grade two over two and a half miles. And then in that race that Arshdale Bob won, he looked like he was going to be out the back of the telly. And the next, then you see him flying up the run in to come second at Narvin, mm -hmm. up the hill over two and a half miles, and I just think the three miles, I mean, he could do it being three and a half, to be honest, but 25 to 1 for Kira is quite a big price. Gordon Elliott, you know, what more can you want? He's a top trainer. The horse needs <laughs> all of the distance or more, so for me, he's and he's raced quite a lot as well, so for me, I'll take for Kira each way at 25 to 1. Well, we're just going to have a bit of a contradiction when we get onto the handicap video, is all I can tell you. <laughs> so, all right, 25 to 1 for Kira, mate. Eh? Good yep. stuff. Right, well, that's the Albert Battle out of the way. Uh, another nice and short video, and we will be back very soon with uh, a Gold Cup preview. Cheers. <laughs>